hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel today's video is for complete beginners but advanced would also learn a few things from this so let's get straight into this video so recently i've seen a lot of new candle makers come up well new candle makers and want to be candle makers now I see everybody asking, where do you get your wax? Where do you get your fragrance oil? Nobody wants to give you that information. Even if it is clearly, boldly on Google out there that you can get your wax from Candle Science and you can get your wax from Flaming Candle and you can get your wax from VA Candle Supply and so many other places. Nobody still wants to tell you where they get their wax and fragrance oil and molds from. So please stop asking. The first thing you should do is research. And it is not just the first thing and it doesn't end at the first thing. It is first and it is continuous. Research is a continuous process. So guys, let's get straight into this video. When you're going into candle making, it is normal for you to search for what you need and where to get it but how about you search for what a candle is and how it actually burns a lot of candle makers out there don't even know how a candle functions do you know so imagine imagine this somebody who has never used a candle before sees your candle looks so good and everything smells so delicious and it's like wow how does this candle work and you're like you put on the fire and you put it on and the smell fills up you don't even know how a candle works and you want to make candle as business please you guys need to research research i have made a lot of mistakes that i want to share with you when i first started candle making i didn't have in mind to start making candles I love perfumes and I wanted to search for um, how perfumes are made and how to make perfumes, history of perfumes and all of that. And I went out on Google and I started searching how to make perfumes and I saw that you mix essential oil with alcohol and blah 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 and boom a perfume. So guess what I did? All of this all wrong essential oils i have about 37 bottles of essential oils here and they're all himani essential oils and they're the wrong essential oils and guess what i bought a bottle of vodka a, a bottle of chocolate vodka to mix with this essential oil please how how am i supposed to make a perfume out of lemon essential oil and chocolate vodka because I didn't do any research. I just went on Google and I just found, oh, you can actually mix essential oils and boom, make a perfume. And I did the wrong thing. So I wasted a lot of money, first of all. So research saves you a lot of money. Research what kind of waxes are out there because there are so many. You need to study. You cannot come and ask me what wax did you use. I will give you the wax I use and it won't work for you. It won't be nice for you because you wouldn't know how to use it. You've never used it and you just want to give it a try. You don't even know what it is made of. Research. Research your types of paraffin waxes. Some of them have 70% soy. Some of them have 70% paraffin. You need to know what you are working with and what you are dealing with. Don't just rush and go and buy a kit. Don't do that. That would be a very, very, very big mistake. You need to research how history of smell, how did smell come about? How does a candle actually, what is the science behind it? How does the wick transfer the scent up? How does, do you get, you need to understand what you are selling before you actually sell it. You cannot go and sell something that you can't even, exp I will just walk out of your shop, period. You won't see me, bye why is it important to research one you know what everything is or at least have an idea of what everything is you know what soy wax is you know what paraffin wax is you know what fragrance oil is you know how fragrance oils are made some people just go and buy fragrance oil oh this is a fragrance it smells like banana so i'm going to put you don't even know what is in that fragrance you don't even and these informations are out there go to candle science they have a lot of information there research research doesn't end 
when you are beginning your candle it continues it is a continuous process because you don't want your business to be stagnant and you don't want to be stagnant you don't want to be lagging behind when everybody's moving forward and advancing their businesses because you lack research you lack information so go out and search for information don't come online and come and ask me what kind of wax I will give you the kind of wax I use I will tell you the kind of wax I use but you will go out and buy the wax and it will it wouldn't come out right because I use it a certain type of way that's why you need to research 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 it is continuous you don't just read one give yourself a time frame it took me about three months studying alone you can set a time schedule for yourself you can give yourself a month of studying alone learning the fragrances the wax the wicks because there are so many types of wicks wooden wicks are now so popular now everybody is switching to wooden wicks some people don't even know how wooden wicks are made and some people don't even know how it functions some people buy wooden wick and their glass is full of suits and they can't comprehend it because there's no research you want to use what other people are using and you don't want to find the information why are they using this why this maybe it works for them maybe it won't work for you because you don't have information so go online and search Ask the right question. Ask what is this wax? Don't ask where can I get this wax? Research gives you an idea of what everything is about. Also, you know what to start with. If you have information and you know what everything is, you know, okay, this is what I would like to try. You can go and buy a candle. The first candle maker's kit I bought, my, my candle had no smell. Absolutely no smell. Now I, I'm stuck with 37 essential oils that I'm never going to use in my life. I don't know what to do with these oils. My money is just... And again, stop asking people where they get their stuff from. Nobody is making your candles with you. Nobody is running your business with you. It is your business. It is your candle. Nobody is going to give you their trade secrets. Find out that information for yourself. If you can't find out that information for yourself, then rethink candle business. Go and do something else. <laughs> Sell dumplings. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm trying to encourage you. It gives you a certain level of confidence. When you know what you're about, you set your price high. When you know what you went through to get to where you are, your prices cannot be mere mered. Do you get? <laughs> also, when you research, you know what you can source for locally. You don't want to be importing your wax from South America when somebody down the streets or just behind your street sells wax. So research opens you up to this kind of information. Do you know the good thing about Google? When you start searching for things on Google, it starts popping up on Facebook, on ads, pop up on your phone concerning that. Before you know, you find people locally that you can buy your supplies from. So research. I keep saying this. Research before you actually go into buying anything. Before you spend a dime, make sure you have quality information or you will waste a lot of money. Don't jump into buying first. Jump into the research. Learn what it is about. Learn the types of waxes, the types of fragrance, the type of wicks. Learn what consistency, temperature to pour out. All of this information before you actually get yourself a kit I and I wouldn't advise anybody out there to get a kit if you've done proper research then you, you should get your things individually from a proper candle supply store another thing to research about is insurance because you don't want to set people's houses on fire and be in a whole lot of mess so make sure that your candles are insured that's very very important what do you research for nice research wax the types of waxes and how they work, what blends and why the blends, okay? Research wicks, the different types of wicks. We have HTP, Eco, CD. Research the types of wicks and what they are made of. Research the best wax to use for those type of wicks. Research scents, how scents work, history of perfume. Research all this information. How does the candle work? People don't know how the candle works. Research. I can tell you here for free, but I want you to research that information. If you're serious about your business, then take it seriously. Take a stand. Push yourself to the limit. Break your back. 
get this. There's no laziness over here. Anybody lazy here? Film out. Research sent notes. Top notes, middle notes, base notes. Top notes are the notes that you smell first. Middle notes are the ones that come next. They usually don't really last that long. And base notes are the ones you smell for long. They're the last you smell. Research the benefits of candles, the health benefits of candles. Candles have health benefits. Some of them have relaxation effects. Some of them have the ability to ease depression. So research the effects of candles and research the negative effects of candles because you want to know this information for yourself and for your customers, okay? Research how much supplies cost because you want to have a breakdown of, okay, candle science has wax and it is so, so, and so price. Flaming candle has the same wax and it is this price. Compare prices, know where to shop from. These are the kind of questions you ask. Go and find it online. It is out there. It is on Google. The information is there. Who doesn't know Google in this world today? Kneel down, let me flog you. <laughs> Research how much they cost and compare prices. So when you're actually ready to spend your money, you know where your money is going. Don't buy anything for business without researching first. Because when you buy for testing, you are beginning your business already. Because you're not just going to go and test two candles and quit. You are buying it to sink into it. So when you spend that money, when you spend your hard-earned money, you are going in, you are spending it on your business already, not just for testing. Your business has taken off. So research the cost of things and compare the prices so you know that you know where your money is going to. You don't want to fling your money around careless. If you don't research properly before spending your money, you're having a giveaway. That's what you are doing. So make a budget because every dime you spend is already a part of growing your business. And don't rush. People are in a hurry. Nobody is going to stop using candles anytime soon. Candles have been on since Egyptian days and they are still on till now. So nobody is going to stop using candles anytime soon. The world is big enough. So many people are complaining. There are so many candle makers out there. So I'm not going to make candles. You're killing your dream and you're killing the dreams of other people. Because somebody is waiting on you to make their journey easier. So if you quit, you are making somebody else's journey more difficult and you're, you're ruining your vision. You're losing your vision. Take your time, but don't drag your feet. Research, spend wisely, don't rush. Make sure you give yourself a time frame to study. If you want to take out one month, just do research. Do that. It will save you money. It will save you useless mistakes like buying chocolates. Chocolate flavored vodka to make perfume. I still can't believe I did that. <laughs> anyway, don't rush. If you're rushing, you rush out. When you've done everything and you are now ready to begin shopping for your supplies, then pray about it and say, oh God, I'm ready to start shopping for my supplies. Lead me to the right shops. Lead me to the right people. May I contact the right suppliers in the name of Jesus. Those kind of prayers. Commit everything you do into the hands of God. And when you do make your first candle, please, don't, don't give it to anybody, anybody. Don't say, oh, this is my family. They will tell me. The your family will most likely lie to you and they probably just want your candle for free to enjoy. So don't go around giving your candles away for free. If you know the kind of hard work you put and study, research and time you put into your candle making process with all the tears and sweat and frustration you put into making your candles, you won't give your candles out for free. You value your time and you value your money and you value your products. So don't give your candles to just anybody for free. Give them to people who you know would be brutally honest with you. Give them to people who will tell you your candles are awful. There's something off about your candles. Those are the kind of reviews that you want to look forward to when you are just beginning. Don't look for people who will tell you your candle is beautiful, your candle is nice. I will tell you the truth, but I will also give you criticism. Look for critics. Those are the people you should give your candles to if you want to give your candles out for free. People who will be brutally honest with you. I do hope that you do some really, really tough research and that you don't spend foolishly like me. All the best for your candle making journey. I love you. God loves you. 
make sure to invest your money wisely it's okay to ask oh where do you get your wax and fragrance oil and stuff from where can i get supplies but ask that question when you've done some research and can find valuable information okay don't go about asking people their trade secrets a lot of people are offended by it to be very very honest i will tell you but you probably won't get it right because you don't have knowledge about what you are buying so it's good to have base knowledge so when your customers ask you you know what to say so guys do some research and spend wisely stay blessed i wish you all the best in your candle making journey subscribe if you haven't because more amazing videos and tips are coming up love you guys like this video and leave some comments down if you have any questions and if you don't agree with me it is completely fine leave your comments down below i would love to have a conversation with you stay blessed guys bye